The first time I performed Juliet was in 2008, I believe, right? Yeah, so for me it was a long time ago and hopefully it looks a bit different now. <laughs> I think when people think of Romeo and Juliet in ballet, they expect to see swords, they expect to see potion, and this production doesn't have that. It creates drama with, without those. Yeah, it's really stripped down, yeah. stripped down, bare bones. So you have to see what's going on through the dancers. My original reaction to dancing this Romeo and Juliet was I had an idea of what Romeo was in my mind before we even started rehearsals and I wanted to be somewhat noble, uh, affluent and the first few weeks of rehearsal it was all about breaking that down because in this version it's less of a character and more of just being a human, being a person. At first I thought, oh I can do this, it's quite easy, but then a lot of it was about the intention that you're trying to put across to the audience. Not acting so much with your face, but thinking about what's happening to you on stage in the story and letting it show through your body. Just jean Christophe's work in general. Everything, every step has a, a, an emotion behind it. And it's, you have to like break yourself of acting on stage. You actually just have to live it. There's a difference between just, go ahead, offer your hand to me. There's a difference between this and, and that, you know. It's great to be able to do that on stage and you actually fall in love, you know. We were, I think, in very different places in our lives and in our careers, but this really resonated. For us, it was kind of this magical time in the company when Jean Gustave came in. We had these amazing stagers. They made magic with us, and um, I think we were really smitten by the whole process. I think I was also at the time in my career searching for something in myself and in dance, and I didn't want to become complacent. And of course, I met them, and I knew like this was it. You know, this was the reason to go. Now I'm in my fifth year, and it's wonderful. And I've learned a lot about dance, of course, and I know myself more than ever. And that, uh, for me, is like quite a nice gift for myself. I feel like I'm finally growing up. At PNB, I, people watched me grow up, but I don't know that I ever felt that I was growing up because I had so much history here. And now that I've left and gone somewhere else, I can look back at this past and see like, yeah, I'm a man, you know? Like, <laughs> I, like, I, ha I do have experience, and I'm using the experience that I built here to add to what I'm doing over there. It's been such a pleasure to, to have him like, be my Romeo again, to share this, a similar life experience. It's very cool. I feel really lucky that we get to come back and dance yeah, in Seattle. It's you really, know, like, really special. It's awesome. We made our careers here, you know. So, I, and I don't think many people have the opportunity to come back home and dance something. Yeah, it's, it's so really, nice. It's a blessing. Yeah, it's really a blessing. Yeah.